day four at Turning Point Boat Works, and uh, we actually have a boat coming along here. We actually have some of the cedar strips on the boat. Now, this was probably six, seven hours of work today, and it's not a whole lot done. And the reason for that is I'm not using any staples. I don't want to have any staple marks in the wood when I'm done. I want what uh, Nick Shada calls that, that museum quality, you know, where you don't see any, any staple marks. So because of that, we have to glue each piece, we have to clamp it down, we have to wait. A lot of times when you'll see a cedar strip build, you'll see a lot of uh, wires twisted in there. We're not doing any of that. Also, um, I don't have the skills to do this, so Joey Schott came in and really did this taper work right in here. You can see this. I was all tapered right through here. We had to, he really had to get in there with a plane and get this down to feather it in. I learned how to bevel today. You have to bevel each one of these pieces of, uh, of cedar in order to make it work as you're coming around. So you have to bevel the back end. I'm waiting for uh, what's called a roboplaner coming from Nick Shada's company, uh, Guillemot, where it's going to make that a lot easier. So hopefully next week, we can move a lot faster because I'll have that roboplaner and uh, I won't have to do it the old fashioned way. I'll, here, I'll show you the planer we were using today. The one your grandpa had, it's the one we have. This thing is a really great piece of equipment and uh, you just get in there and plane each one of these, get that bevel exactly the way you want. This is the same plane I used whenever I was uh, doing the bevel right here uh, on the stem. At any rate, um, I'm gonna guess we're, I'm gonna guess at about 30 hours of work. So if you've ever wondered what takes so long to make a cedar strip kayak, uh, we're at about 30 hours here. Once again, I wanna thank uh, Joey Schott over at Turning Point Boat Works, and uh, we'll see you again next week.